This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a early Volkswagen Beetle with a 1600 air-cooled engine in it. And what we're doing today is we are adjusting the valves. The first thing we've got to do is jack the vehicle up in the air or put it on ramps because this is where the valves are located, right underneath these valve covers on both sides of the engine. The first valve we're going to adjust is number one. So we want to find number one spark plug wire, which is the furthest one away from the rear bumper, that way. So trace your wire up to your cap, and in my case it's this one right here. You might want to make a mark on the outside of the body, or in most cases, once you remove the cap, you'll see that there is a mark on the body. I can see it right here on this one. So, what we want to do now is we want to rotate the engine in its normal direction till our rotor is facing where number one spark plug is. And you should, on your crank pulley here, be right at the timing mark on the engine. See how the rotor is coming around? I've got a degree wheel right here so I can see where I'm at and I can see top dead center is coming up. Number one is just about there. I'm going to bring it to top dead center and there we she can is. Adjust both intake and exhaust valves on that cylinder now. This is the passenger side of the engine which carries cylinder one and cylinder two right here. Now one thing I forgot to mention earlier is you want to start with a cold engine when you do this procedure. So the next thing we need to do is to remove that valve cover and uh, I have a container right here because there will be some oil that will come out of it. Alright, so let's get that cover removed. Now, a lot of times the cover needs a little persuasion. gasket has stuck on the cylinder head. So we're going to have to make sure everything is clean before we put it back together of course. Alright, here is number one cylinder right here. Intake and exhaust. And we want to use a six thousandth feeler gauge. Okay, we can check both of them. Okay, that one's a little tight. And that one's a little tight. So, we have to loosen Just a smidgen. How are we doing? Oh, that's nice. Let's tighten it up the rest of the way. Make sure it hasn't changed. Beautiful.
Number one is all adjusted. Now that we have number one cylinder all adjusted, we're going to adjust number two. And that was the two valves that were to the left of the one we just did. Now, to get the valves in the right position, we're going to turn the engine counterclockwise so the rotor makes a 90 degree turn from where it is now. And that will put your um, crank pulley at bottom dead center. So what, what you could do is m put a mark 180 degrees opposite of the top dead center. Now I've got a degree wheel right here. So when I crank the engine over, I'll look for BTC, bottom dead center, line it up with my engine center case right here, and that will put our rotor at 90 degrees counterclockwise from where it is now, and we can adjust valves too. Here comes 180 degrees from where we were. Right there. The rotor is 90 degrees from where it was counterclockwise. So now we can adjust valves intake and exhaust on number two. All right, we're ready to put our valve cover back in place. I'm using a good quality German gasket here. And you can see that it fits nice and tight. Get that up there. Make sure we're in place. Now, sometimes what I like to do, press down, make sure my cover is right where it belongs. Here it is. She's all in place. Now we have to do number three. So we want to rotate the engine counterclockwise 180 degrees on our crank pulley and you'll see the rotor will turn another 90 degrees I'm coming up to TDC right here bingo that's 90 degrees from where we are where we were and uh, now we can do number three I just popped the valve cover off and now we can adjust number three cylinder right here. Intake and exhaust valve. Just the way we did the other side. Now we have to turn our crank 180 again to do number four. And that will make the rotor turn 90 degrees. Okay, We're coming up on our 180 mark. Right there. Rotor is 90 degrees from where it was. So now we can do number four. Here is number four right here. And we can adjust the valves same as we did all the others. Removing the tires is not necessary. I just did that to give you a better look at how to adjust the valves. The number three, number four valve cover is all on. She's all done. All we have to do is put the, our tires on and our 
distributor cap, and that's it. That's all there is to adjusting the valves on your Volkswagen air-cooled engine.